Namaste and welcome to Refill Yoga. Today I wanted to share with you a beautiful technique that can be used to revitalize, re-energize and rejuvenate the entire being. It's known as Prana Mudra and in its advanced version it's actually a powerful tool for awakening the Kundalini. Today I'm going to share with you the simplified version that anyone can do at any time. But actually I'll be releasing the advanced version next week to our Refill Yogi members here on YouTube as well as over on Patreon. So if you'd like to access that, if you'd like to check it out, check out our membership. We'd really appreciate your support and we're happy to take you further down the path. So before coming into this Prana Mudra, we're actually going to take some time to warm up the entire body by using uh, the nine part complete breath. So I'm actually teaching you two techniques because we'll do the nine part breath and then we'll do the prana mudra. Okay, the nine part breath is a kind of the maha yoga pranayama, the full yogic breath, but really bringing awareness to all the different areas of the lung where we can breathe into to expand each part of our lung. You know, the more expansion we create in any part of the body, the more expansion we create in the mind, in our awareness and our consciousness. So the more consciousness we bring to the breathing, the more we bring to the world around us. So we'll be starting with this breathing to really open us up, open our energy, and then we'll go directly into the prana mudra, which I will explain along the way. Um, to do this breathing, it can be advantageous, especially in the beginning, to sit against the wall or against a chair with a high back because as we breathe, at a certain point, we'll be pushing towards the back of the lungs. So if we have something that can create some sort of feedback, so we know that we're creating a, a push, it's, it's beneficial. So if you can, come to sit against the wall or a chair with a high back, preferably a straight, firm back, not a comfy, lazy boy kind of chair. And what we're going to do is we're going to take time now to breathe into each part of the lungs separately. Okay, so before we begin, let's just take three deep breaths just to cleanse ourselves. So come to sitting in a comfortable position, nice and tall, pressing the seat down, reaching the crown of the head up, shoulders are back and down, eyes closed. Take a deep inhalation through the nose. And exhale with a sigh. Oh, feel the body soften. Allow the mind to relax. Coming to now. Another breath like that in through the nose. Exhale with a sigh. Oh, feel those vibrations massaging your nervous system, helping to bring you to the present. One more time, deep inhalation. Is we're going to consciously breathe into each part of the lung. I want you to start by bringing your hands and placing them on your belly just around the navel. And as you inhale, really distend, really push out the belly. Feel the belly move forward. Hold for a moment and exhale through the nose. Feel the belly come inwards. We're going to do that two more times again. Inhale, really push out the belly. And exhale, feel the belly come inwards. Deep belly breathing, really breathing into the lower part of the lungs. One more time, really push out the belly. And as you exhale, feel the belly come in. Try to bring as much awareness to the movement of the part of the body as you can. Now we're gonna bring the hands to the sides, to the sides of the hips, and as you inhale, Feel this lower part of the lung expand out to the side. So inhale, push the hands outwards. And as you exhale, feel them come in. It might be a little more tricky than the belly, but try to feel just a little push, pushing out the sides of the bottom lung. And exhale, feel them come in. One more time, pushing out the sides of the lower lung. And release. 
Beautiful. Now we want to push into the back lower part of the lung, somewhere around the kidneys. This is where it's helpful to have the wall behind you. So as you inhale, push into that lower back. Feel it push back as it expands with air. And as you exhale, feel it calm and release from the wall. Two more times, pushing out the back, the low back, and exhale, relax. Again, push out the back. Mm. Now we're going to try to breathe into all three of these spaces at once. So sit nice and tall, breathe into the belly, the sides, and the back. Feel the whole bottom expanded outwards and release. Two more times like that into the belly, the lower sides, the lower back. Release. And again, the belly, the hips the low back and release start to feel the energy as we're opening really expanding this area of the lung now we're going to move up into the middle part of the lung so place your hands on your lower ribs and as you inhale push out from the front your lower ribs and as you exhale feel that part of the body sink inwards Inhale to expand the front center of the body. And relax. Feel it cave in one more time. And in. Now move your hands to the sides of the ribs. And as you inhale, feel them puff out to the side. And relax. It's okay if it's not easy to access. It's the intention. The more we practice, the more accessible it becomes. Inhale, puff out the sides. Relax it in. Last one. And release. Now the center back pressed against the wall as you inhale, push the center back backwards. And relax. Two more times, the middle back. Again. Relax. Now we try to breathe into all three parts of the center of the lung. So the front of the chest, the sides, the center back. Feel this expansion all around the middle of the torso and relax. Two more times. The middle chest, the ribs middle back relax last one and relax very full of energy tingles of prana flowing through the body now now we come to the upper third of the lungs, the collarbone area. So you can place your hands on your collarbones and as you inhale, push this area up and out. You'll have to lift the shoulders. Really breathe into this space in front of the collarbone and release. Two more times. And again, really lift the shoulders to facilitate the breath moving up and forwards. And 
release. Now to the sides, place the back of the hands in the armpits. And as you inhale, lift the shoulders and feel the armpits pressing outward. Breathing as fully as possible into this upper lung area. Expanding the armpits. Last one. Now the upper part of the shoulders, shoulders against the wall as you inhale, pull them up and back, expand the lungs to the back. Two more. Now we do all three parts of the upper lung. So to the front, the armpits, and the back shoulders. Release. Two more times, upper chest, shoulders, armpits. Release. Last one, upper chest, armpits and shoulders. And release. Feel this energy, these vibrations, this prana in the whole upper lung area. Now we're going to do three rounds of the complete breath. We will combine all nine stages of the breath. Hold in for a moment. Then we will take a slight sniff through the nose and exhale through the mouth to release. Okay, so start by emptying the lungs to the belly, the hips, the lower back, the front of the chest, sides of the ribs, sides of the, the back of the ribs, upper collarbone, armpits, upper shoulders, hold, little sniff through the nose and release through the mouth. Two more times on your own, nice and fluid. Really be aware of all nine spaces filling with air, filling with prana. Let's begin. One more time. This time you can hold at the top a little bit longer. Relaxing, sitting with the eyes closed, feeling the effect of this nine part complete breath, the energy flowing throughout your entire being, simultaneously relaxed and energized, vital. And gently coming back in this nice open state, we're going to now perform the prana mudra. Uh, you can come into any comfortable seated position. If it's available for you, you can take one of the siddhasana variations where we place one heel at the perineum. So it's pressing into the area of muladhara chakra. 
From there, if you like, you can place one heel above the pubic bone. You can come into full Siddhasana if it's in your practice. Or if none of this is accessible, just sit in any comfortable seated position. From here, we're going to adopt something called Bhairava Mudra, where we're going to place the left hand facing up and the right hand on top of it. So the hands are folded and the fingers are pace, facing up, right hand is on top. From here, I'll demonstrate the practice once and then we'll do it together. So we will start by emptying the lungs, going completely empty and squeezing Mula Bandha, contracting the area of the perineum, feeling energy building there, building in Muladhara. Then we will release Mula Bandha and we will begin to inhale nice and slow from the base all the way up like we've just been doing in the Prana Mudra. Instead, this time of focusing on the area of the lungs, we want to focus on the energy moving from Muladhara Chakra up the central channel, up this tube of light through the middle of the body. We're going to draw that energy first from Muladhara into the navel, then up to the heart, up to the throat, up to Ajna Chakra in the forehead, and then all the way up to Sahasrara and feeling the world all around us. As we do that breathing and inhaling up, what we're going to do is we're going to bring the hands up along the body. Fingers are, palms are towards the body. Fingers are towards each other, but not touching. So we'll come from the Bhairava Mudra and we'll inhale to the navel, fluidly breathing to the heart, to the throat. And once we get to the throat, we come up to the third eye and we spread the hands out. We come into this open state where the hands are in line with the ears, palms are up, the head can be tight, slightly tilted back, and we focus upward above Sahasrara or up out into the universe. We'll hold the breath there, feeling this high level of energy for as long as it's comfortable. Then when we exhale, we'll exhale, we'll do the opposite. We'll exhale, coming back down from Sahasrara, passing Ajna, Vishuddha, Anahata, Manipura, all the way down into Muladhara, and we rest with the hands again in Bhairava Mudra with the right hand on top, and we squeeze Mulabandha and feel that energy go back down into Muladhara. Okay, I'll walk us through the first round, we'll do together, and then we'll do two more rounds on your own. Okay, so coming into the position, hands in Bhairava Mudra, sit nice and tall, take a deep inhalation, complete exhalation, through the mouth, hold with the lungs empty and squeeze Mula Bandha. Feel this energy building at the base of the spine at Muladhara Chakra. Then release Mula Bandha, slowly start to inhale, pulling the energy up, tracing the hands along to Manipura, slowly inhaling up to Anahata, up to Vishuddha all the way up to Ajna and open the hands, all the way up to Sahasrara, feel the energy flowing all the way to the crown. Hold in this space for as long as is comfortable. And when you're ready, exhale the same manner down with the hands from Sahasrara through Ajna, Vashuddha at the throat, Anahata at the chest, Manipura at the navel, all the way down to Muladhara at the base of the spine. Squeeze Mulabandha, feel this energy gathering at Muladhara Chakra, and continue. Squeezing Mula Bandha when you hit the bottom. Remember to keep the mind nice and calm. Really try to feel that rising of energy from the base 
up the central channel through each center along the way. Let's perform one final round. Turn to normal breathing, sitting with the eyes closed, tension turned inside, witnessing the movement of energy, the feeling of light and expansion throughout your being. aware of any sounds, vibrations, thoughts, or images, the pure witness. Take a deep inhalation into the heart. As you exhale, gently coming back. So I can say thank you for joining me today. Namaste. Mm. 
if you'd like to continue with meditation, it's the perfect time for it. If you feel you need Shavasana, by all means, take it. Uh, and if you enjoy this practice and you would like to experience the advanced version, I will be releasing that next week uh, to our Refill Yogi members here and on Patreon. So if you like that, or if you're already one of those members, you have something to look forward to. Other than that, have a beautiful day, guys. Namaste.